Hi guys, today we have two Dreamcast. One is the Pal Europe version with the blue logo, and the other is the Japanese version with the red logo. The problem with the Pal version is that it shows the black bars like now in this video on the bottom and the top of the screen. We're going to change the region to transform the European Pal to the Japanese version and display 60R full screen. We can use the pre-installed GDM or to load the region change program, but as we have the Japanese GD-ROM unit working, we will swap the drive from the Japanese one. We will update the controller board as this console battery is dead. Before we start, we need to check how this mod works. The difference between multiple regions relies on the firmware inside the BIOS. The BIOS chip is a Fujitsu 29LB002. On the datasheet, we can see something interesting. In page 27 of the manual, we can see a temporary sector on protection. So applying a voltage of 12 volts, we can, as the tail on page 39, program or erase data blocks inside the BIOS. The idea is to unprotect the BIOS and apply some changes to the firmware and change the region. But let's take a look to the page 5 of the schematics to find the IC502. We can see the IC502. We can see a voltage near to 3.3V is being applied on the reset pin but as we need 12 volts to program it, we will connect the 12 volt from the power supply to the resistor R512 and then we will execute the program. Once we finish and the region has been changed, we will desolder this wire and the console will remain in the new region. So let's do it. First, we need to unscrew the four case screws. One is below the modem, so we need to disconnect the modem first. We remove the top case and the 3D printed part for the GDM. the 3D parts and remove them. We can compare here an original GDM with a clone. As you can see, the clone has the main connector broken and the PCB quality is lower. The dimensions are the same and it fits as well as the original, but the main difference is the build quality. Remove the power block. Disconnect the fan and remove the controller board. This controller board has the battery death, so we will add a battery holder and put a resettable fuse, a resistor and a new electrolytic capacitor as well. I will make a video explaining the use of ideal diodes to replace the rechargeable batteries with the normal ones. Remove the lower shield. And now 
we're ready to work on the wiring. So we need to solder one wire for this 12 volt terminal from the power block to here, the resistor R512. We will solder on the path opposing the diode connection. Before the assembly, we should apply a captain tape to avoid any contact. And we start the assembly. Swap the GT ROM unit from the Japanese console to the PAL one. We must ensure both support 3.3 volts. We can load the software as well from the GDM, but as we already have a CD version, we swap the units. the PAL console. It will boot with the blue logo as usual. We set the time and begin loading the region changer. Press Y on the path when asked and then choose to change the region option. Now choose the new region and broadcast protocol and write it to the BIOS. Once written, you can hit the reboot button the Japanese NTSC. with isopropyl alcohol or flax cleaner. Now it's time to refresh the controller PCB with a rechargeable battery. Reassemble all the parts.
update and ensure the GDMO works as expected. Thank you for watching this video. 